Hi, it's Alice. I'm here to do uh, week four of the YouTube Pagan Challenge. I know I'm way behind, but, well, life happens. So, this week is what is your take on the Wheel of the Year? I haven't really watched anyone else's video, so I'm not exactly sure what this question means. Um, so I'm just going to answer it in the best way I can. So, when I first started out in Wicca, I would only celebrate Samhain and Yule. And this was when I was about 10 years old. And that was really because those were the only ones I knew about. Um, I vaguely had, I mean, I'd sort of heard of the other ones, but I didn't really know anything about them, didn't know what they were about, didn't know how to celebrate them, didn't, all I really knew were the basic names and didn't even properly know how to pronounce them or really anything. I just knew Samhain and Yule. So I celebrated those and that's really all. Then about maybe, oh, I don't know, math, whatever, seven years ago or something, um, when I was about 18 or 19, I got into Wicca again and started reading more about it and um, started like reading more about Wicca and then I I sort of got into more of the Sabbaths and I started deciding I wanted to celebrate all of them every year. And so I did that for a couple years and then I decided some of them I didn't connect with as much. So I decided it wasn't important to celebrate all of them every single year, just celebrate which ones I felt like I needed to that year. So I did that and this year I'm trying to celebrate all of them again. Um, I sort of missed Imolk. I, um, I missed it on the actual day because I was really sick with my, my chronic illness was just making me really sick that day. And, um, but the, I did celebrate like a week later and I made a Bridget's Cross and out of some like, not like the type of reeds you're supposed to use or whatever traditionally, but I made them out of like this flat type reedish plant that I had in my yard. That's like, um, I don't even know what kind of plant it is, but you know, it's like where it's really, really, really long grass, sort of. Made it out of some of those and it turned out pretty cool. I had to like glue, hot glue the back so it would stay, the middle would stay in place or else it kept like expanding and going all crazy. But you know, anyway, um, so, I'm planning on celebrating them all this year, and, um, yeah, I really don't know what else to say on this topic. I like the Wheel of the Year. I think it helps, at least, well, where I am, we don't really have a distinct four seasons, but the Wheel of the Year kind of helps with um, recognizing them even when we don't necessarily have the distinct four here. Um, I feel like, uh, how do I explain this? Well, I don't really know how to explain it, so I'll just not say it. <laughs> um, oh, maybe I can talk about different things I like to do on the Sabbaths. Uh, well, for a star this year, I'm going to take some of those plastic eggs that, you know, you put the kids' candy in, and I'm going to make some candles in them. I might video that. That would be a good idea, actually. So, and then I like to carve pumpkins for Samhain and decorate a tree for Yule. And, um, <clears throat> make a Bridget's Cross for Imolk. I've only done that a couple years though. 
And for Lunasaw, I like to um, make homemade bread. I've done that like four or five years now in a row. Um, yeah, that's really all I want to say. So thank you for watching and blessed be.